How did the kidney song happen? Ah, uh, the kidney song happened. Uh, there was this a, is I uh, just to set it up. Alec Baldwin's character has met his dad, played yeah. by Alan Alda, that's and right. finds out that he needs a kidney. That's right. And so this somehow doesn't seem like the spark for a song, and yet well, you know. <laughs> You know, songs, they can come from anywhere. And yeah, so they had this idea. I think the writers had an idea toward the end of that season. Wouldn't it be funny if we could just do a great big anthem, a big We Are the World telethon kind of a situation uh, where we could get uh, not to help, the, you know, hundreds of people or thousands of people, but just to find one kidney for my dad. It was basically that thought that would be fun. And so then there was this big uh, kind of a search, like who can we get to be on to sing this song? So it looks like We Are the World. And I, you know, it was very last minute, uh, and they got a lot of people. People at that, you know, at that point were very willing to come on and, and do the show. And it was a crazy thing. We had Elvis Costello, and we had Sheryl Crow, and Adam Levine, and uh, Robert Randolph was there, Cindy Lauper, the Beastie Boys, Michael McDonald. There was a ton. It was like 25 people that were there that day. Um, the logistics of it were, were just was a nightmare because it was about okay, we have this song, we have to write this song, we wrote this song, and then we had to like record it. And we have all these people, we have to do it in one day. So it's kind of like a military, it was D-Day, basically. Mm. We go to wait to like bring people in groups of three or four at a time. We would sit them down, we'd record their thing in the, in the actual like TGS set. And then they would go off and we'd bring the next four or five people, you know, and then it would build and build and build, and you know, until we finally had everybody and recorded. The results, I mean, for me, one of the most memorable scenes in 30 Rock, it's just, Hysterically oh, funny, thank you. and it's such a great send-up of all those "We Are the World" type songs. Sure. Uh, watch, watch your monitors, folks uh, at home. It'll be on the, the the video webcast. This is a clip from Thirty Rock, the song written by my guest Jeff Richmond. This country has six hundred million kidneys. Listen, when someone starts talking in the middle of a song, you know it's serious. So give Milton a kidney. We all believe in this cause so much that we're doing it for free. Except for Cheryl. That's right, I'm the only one getting paid. And only three of us are drunk. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was... There was a math joke right in the, in the top of that. That's a math joke in a lyric. And it, uh, 600 million kidneys, we only need 300 million kidneys. How did that, how did we think that was gonna be funny? And it went, it was funny. Uh, that was written by, uh, the lyrics were written by, I think, myself, uh, my wife, Tina, and Robert Carlock, who was the showrunner. But, uh, yeah, we did, and, a, I remember just pages of pages of, what's funny about kidneys? <laughs> well, there's 600 million of them. And, okay. and, and you saw Robert Randolph. Yep. Right next to uh, Cindy Lauper. Now Tony, we, Tony, uh, Tony Winner, Cindy Lauper, yeah, uh, and Mary J. Blige, and Elvis Costello, yeah. and and Nora Jones, Nora Jones, uh, who else was yeah, up there? Michael McDonald, uh, Wyclef Jean, who in the middle of recording the whole thing and we're doing it, he just he drops his microphone at one point and he says, "Man, I can't do this anymore," and he starts to walk out. And everybody's like, and it's like it's a day when everybody that worked on the show, their families, everybody's around, they're all hanging out, and he just goes, "I can't do this." And then my first cousin needs a kidney, and I thought I could get through this, and he did this whole big thing, and he dropped his microphone, and he walked out of the room, and then he came back and he said, no, I'm messing with you! <laughs> and that's why I did not vote for him for Haitian president. 